Hey guys, it's Dr. Kirby here and we're back with another video. So today we are just going to be discussing if DRX Ash was done justice, you know. If R Riot's request from Beryl was granted and they actually made Alicia Ash into the game. Now, the only way we're going to do this comparison is just by this reference right here. Now, this reference was by... Um, who is this? Yahoo Esports Southeast Asia. Now we can we can do some we can reference some of the old sketches from Ash, but you know I, I think it's better to compare it with the final product. I don't know if there is a drawing or a sketch of her final product so that we can do more of a side by side comparison because this Alicia picture is um, what two D and this Ash is more of a three D design. But you know. We'll just focus on the key aspects here. So with that being said, let's get on with this video. Okay. The biggest takeaway I could see here, obviously, it's the first thing I, we need to talk about is the hair. The hair. The hair was obviously 100% accurate. You know, it may not look the same like here on Alicia, but this is more of a minimalistic look. It's the same hairstyle. You know, we can see the bangs, bangs. You can see kind of like that curvy, like those side fringes like I don't know what you call that in here but it's there too they just redesigned a little bit so you can see a little bit more of that curve that was emphasized in the bait in like the Alicia design um so yeah I, I guess that's similar in a way so you can usually get away with that because I think in Beryl's last request when he won world it was that Leona skin right and it was based on an anime I don't remember what anime that is but I know the hair Comparison from that model that animated to Leona was similar um, Oh, I forgot to mention if you don't know who Alicia is she is a character from Honkai Star Rail um, She she's a very popular character into the Honkai Star Rail verse. I think she's she's pretty new. I think she's only a year old uh, Or a year and a half old Alicia. She was given for free recently in the a few months ago actually and I remember logging in there and I got Alicia for free so she is a good um, unit, Alicia. So that's why she was so impactful. Later on, she had more forms, which is uh, the Hersher of Human. Um, but that's more of like a goddess version of this character. So we're just going to go with her base. Okay, so now let's look at... Well, the eyes are similar. They're kind of like low-key blue, right? So, you know, we're going to keep it at there. Um, let's talk about, there was a key takeaway that I noticed here. Now, there was a, there's a video flooding online about Beryl talking about the skin. Um, she was being interviewed by a Chinese, um, uh, reporter, esports reporter, and she was translating, and he was talking about some of the flaws that Riot didn't kind of fulfill from his request because it was too close to Alicia. And one main aspect of that is the, this midriff right here, the see-through midriff. He mentioned that in the key, I think it's similar on the other side, we can't see the, the turnaround. But the key like um, aspect of Alicia from Beryl's point of view is that see-through like midriff cut look. We can see that Ash never had it. They covered it. Because I feel like if they added it, it was getting a little too close to home. And looking at first glance at Ash is like a waste. It kind of looks like miss it's missing something. You know, I feel like they just covered it. Like, you know, like when games like censor stuff. Like, this cleavage area here, this bump, I don't know if you can see my mouse, this could have been just skin. You know, this, see, see, I think this would have been the see-through part of the cleavage part. But, you know, they try to cover it. Like, you know, like, they're trying to censor, like, what they did with Mortal Kombat, the Mortal Kombat girls, you know. So, there's that. Um, the, what do you call this? The, what do you call that? The sleeves, I don't know if you call sleeves, the glove sleeves, whatever, are really not similar. They just made her, um, well, the right side is similar to this side. Um, but I guess that they didn't want to copy the sleeve effect here. So they just gave her like a bandage wrap, like black, I guess. Or that could be something else. I could misinterpret these. Um, but yeah, the biggest thing is this waist, um, what do you call that? That waist guard, I guess. It's here, but it's such a big difference from the outfit. And is she wearing a skirt from this model? Hmm. Wait, I need to look at that. Give me one second. Actually, I'm too lazy. Uh, so it looks like she's wearing a skirt in this perspective, but I can see a short inside. So I guess 
oh she this is the similar aspect but they kind of made her more into like a skirt vibe which is kind of okay but it i think they didn't want to give her that short look because it's gonna be looking more like Elise a little bit and I think adding that skirt look gives more emphasis to what she has here, Alicia has here. Yeah, there's that. She, they didn't add anything much with her thigh here, didn't add a thigh accessory, which is kind of sad. Um, they really went uh, mild here, they didn't really go extra with the designs, I mean look at the stockings. We could have had these lace looking effect uh, style on the stockings mixed with the gold, that would have been a nice touch. It would have made Bear a little proud, but they kind of went a little lazy town on it. From the bottom shoes, I think they're similar, but I'm sure Alicia's design is more different, as obvious. Um, what else? What else? Talk about the shoulder blades. The shoulder blades are kind of similar, in a way. Right, kind of, and also they added more stuff on their own with her left side, because that is her, um, you know, dexterity hand. Like, that's her a strong arm, That that's the one she uses to throw the bow, right? Um... Yeah, they lack a bit more accessories. They see these crystals here. They don't have that here. I think they inf they made it into these spikes. Um, the cape, at least the cape is somewhat there. But then again, Ash is more oomph because Ash is known for her cape, duh. Um, but yeah, the disappointment I had, I guess, is they tried to make her a little bit more PG, which is fine. Then again, remember, they have Ocean Ash, Ocean Song Ash, which is, which is literally a bikini. But I guess they didn't make her go crazy because they don't want to have that uh, censorship with MiHoYo. You guys should really check out that video about Beryl talking about his skin when he was testing it out. Because he did mention, like, it's really hard for... Riot tried to listen but to his request, Beryl's request. But they never, they're trying not to get copyrighted with Mihoya because they don't want to have a lawsuit, you know, the history of lawsuits, right? So there's that. Um, the horns is a nice touch. It kind of gives an emphasis to this, you know, but this is a DRX skin, so it's fine if the horns were added in as well. Um, the, the biggest takeaway to know that Elise is the pink hair. I feel like the only thing that you're allowed to use when you're like trying to make a skin that's inspired is the hair. Like, the minute I saw this hair, I'm like, oh, I know it's her. But then when you look at the rest of her body, it's not her. But if you know the intention of, like, who was this skin inspired by, like, what character, and, like, everyone knows it, then you're going to see more Alicia, you know. So, but I'm glad that Beryl liked his skin in the end, though. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is the bow. The bow. Um, Alicia's bow is a bit more oomphy. I mean, look at that. It's giving butterfly look. And Ash is a bit more the same look. It's always that, like, it look, it's giving, like, a minotaur shape. Like, I have my horns and the V-shape. In Alicia's bow, they have a curve look. <clears throat> this, uh, this should, this should have been, uh, similar to Alicia's bow. They could have gotten away with it. Rather than making this, um, a bull look, this, you know, the look I'm talking about. They could have made this more into, like, a curvish, curvish, uh, design. I think they will get away with that. Um, maybe they can um, build this, like, this should have been a whole shape, and then this glowing thing, I'm burping, excuse me, <clears throat> this glowing thing here should have been outer here. Um, I don't think it's necessary for this thing to be here, you know, uh, but then again, Ash's bows uh, have always been like this shape, no matter what skin line we are in. And I think Bear mentioned this in his video, where in the video that I, I keep talking about, where he said like he's talking about the game engine and how it's hard to be similar and stuff. And he mentioned like how Honkai Impact, Honkai Star Rail, Genshin Impact were all similar character archetypes that are just redesigned because they're all from the same engine. You know, he gets into detail about, about skin making and, you know, like what I do on the channel. Um, but yeah, it's a good, it's a good inspiration obviously the colors not kind of the same because it's drx's theme colors but in terms of like design they could have just added more you know added little accents to the design you know these little accents that ash has you know it wouldn't hurt you know like they only added one here and they could have added more oomph to it um i don't know what the thematic of the drx skins are like what fashion style they're going for but you know you know how it is but yeah that was the video thank you guys so much for watching this little discussion about drx ash are you guys getting DRX Ash? I know I have an I think I have enough RP to get DRX Ash, just the skin. Again, no border, you know. So 
But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, like it. Dislike it if you don't. Make sure you guys subscribe notification before whenever I upload a new video. I am a VTuber who does, you know, mostly Wild Drift content, but I also dabble into other mobile games and not mobile games, any games actually that that you know just just that I just like to make and what I'm feeling right now. If you're up with that, what? If you're up with that, please subscribe. Uh, join my Discord link description below. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I have Twitter. If you want to see me thirst over hot men in Wild Drift, go there. And you know, just me interacting um, and such. Also, if you want to donate to my PayPal slash coffee, the link is in the description below or send a thanks by super chat or something. You know how they do it. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.